Sharon Osbourne had some choice words for her husband Ozzy Osbourne's doctor who made his 2019 spinal injury worse. After the Black Sabbath frontman gave an update on his health, the former manager spoke about what a nightmare it's been for him during the first episode of her family's new podcast, The Osbournes, on Tuesday. Their son Jack Osborne asked if Ozzy's spinal injury was more of a hindrance than his Parkinson's. The Iron Man singer said yes, with Sharon adding, it's nothing related to the Parkinson's that Ozzy has. In 2003, Ozzy almost died in an ATV accident, undergoing emergency surgery to address a broken collarbone, eight fractured ribs that were pinching crucial blood vessels and a damaged vertebrae in his neck. In 2019, Ozzy fell getting into bed, which aggravated his 16-year-old injuries and has had three surgeries to fix things ever since. Arriving at Cedars Sinai Hospital, it was pandemonium and Sharon went full Karen on the staff for not seeing Ozzy as soon as they arrived. Ozzy Osbourne on 46 spills a day after spinal injury that could vented badly Ozzy's x-ray only showed some swelling, so they sent him home, but the following day he couldn't lift his arm. Sharon called Ozzy's Parkinson's doctor for a recommendation from the spinal ward, and he wowed them initially. The TV personality said the doctor came in dressed like a model for Prada, stinking of cologne, big handkerchief that matches the tie. I was like, oh, he must be a brilliant surgeon. He put Rosie in the ICU while they waited for the swelling to go down and said the singer needed the surgery because if he fell again he'd become a paraplegic. Sharon said she didn't think about getting a second opinion because she was in shock what could happen to him. I just listened to everything this man said. Everything. Jack added that his father was dancing and headbanging to music before going into surgery, but now he can't do any of that anymore. Don't miss. Sharon Osbourne tells all when it comes to her 40-year-long marriage to Ozzy, interview, in sync fans to be heartbroken with no tour or album planned after VMA's reunion, insight, Doja Cat strips down smart suit for jaw-dropping VMA performance, video, Sharon keeps wondering if she should sue the doctor, but then she asks herself if she wants to spend three years in court. Jack explained that his father's Parkinson's will always be the get-out, though, meaning the doctor would just blame the disease for Ozzy's health issues. However, Sharon explained that Ozzy played a two-hour show with Parkinson's on New Year's Eve and the neck injury happened a month later. She said post-surgery was a nightmare, with Ozzy in the hospital for three months getting worse and worse comes out, has got terrible atrophy. Ozzy was on every type of medication you could think of, he was on like 46 pills a day until they cut everything down. Four years later and Ozzy is still a fed up, even after two more surgeries which were planned to undo the damage that the first surgery inflicted. Doctors who've looked at the rock legend since have said that the first doctor did things that shouldn't have been done. Sharon said, it was the wrong treatment for the injury. So, he went very aggressive with Ozzy. The first doctor put in two plates with screws into Ozzy's neck, which have since come undone, disintegrating the bones around them, over time. Debris from the bones then went under his spinal cord. Jack asked why their family can't sue the doctor to which his sister Kelly Osborne said, well, at the very least write a letter to the board. Jack added, yeah, him like this guy's effing clicking his heels down to Prada and dad's having to cancel tours. It's like ridiculous. Sharon said the doctor will become known as the doctor that effed Ozzy up and took his career away.